my clock. I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. Alright guys, we recently got some very interesting information about the Kato organization, specifically about the outers of the Kato organization. And even through this tiny hiatus that the Boruto anime is on, we are still getting a lot of information. It's Kato organization content that we are absolutely loving. Now, in my opinion, just off of the rip, I do want to tell you guys, a lot of the information in this excerpt right here, even though it's specifically about the Kato organization, I expect this information to be exploited a lot more in the anime. Now, I do want to point this out, it was translated by Organic Dinosaur. The link to the tweet is going to be in the description below. But without further ado, it starts by saying the outers of the Kado are significant influences behind the popularization and spread of scientific ninja tools. Since the outers are pervading amongst scientists and engineers from various villages, they are able to significantly develop and improve technologies and then bring them back to the Kado. Using this method, they are able to gather the latest in technology and engineering. Accumulated by the man sitting in the center of the inner is Jigen and his right hand man, the scientist Amato. Alright, just off the rip there are so much answers to some questions that a lot of us pretty much had first things first being is is Amato this crazy genius is he the mastermind behind everything of the Kato organization is actually going on with it turns out that he is not they're pretty much getting tidbits from other scientists and engineers out there in the ninja world another thing that we do find out is that the outers of the Kato organization they are not all former ninjas but continuing on to the next paragraph it says almost all of the outers believe that this is being done in order to expand the sphere of influence of the secret society known as Kato or perhaps that it's for the purpose of evolution and progression of mankind throughout the advancement of technology. However, the true objective of this organization is only known to the inners and Jigen himself. They have no intention of allowing anyone else aside from themselves to jointly share in their high quality sake of success. Now first things first, what we do understand is that the Kata organization are not being completely truthful to a lot of the outers in the Kata organization. One of the biggest questions that we did have coming off the heels of the last chapter is what is the incentives for everybody to pretty much go along with the Kata organization especially the outers what Amado did actually explain is that once Jigen's plan does come through to fruition everybody on earth is probably going to die possibly except for the cyborgs and the aliens so if the Kata outsiders are in fact humans they are most likely going to die but from what we're seeing now is that they've pretty much been lied to by Jigen and the inners of the Kata organization this is why they are helping Jigen and the inners of the Kata organization now after we understand that the attention should immediately shift to all the known scientists and engineers that we automatically know of. In episode 92, Orochimaru and Log spoke about the scientist that was never really found. That was specifically in the Mitsuki retrieval arc. Mitsuki did quote unquote go rogue and he was mingling with other synthetic human beings. The scientist that created the other synthetic human beings was never really found. One popular theory that a lot of people had at that time and especially now since this information just aired, that scientist can possibly be an out outsider of the Kato organization and he possibly fed a lot of information into the Kato organization and some of that knowledge could have led to the completion of Kawaki and some of the other insiders of the Kato organization. I spoke about this when that arc was actually going on. I said I never really seen synthetic human beings be that strong. If you guys don't remember, the leader of the synthetic human beings back then was Lord Ku. He was Kage level. The strongest synthetic human beings that we did see was Log, Mitsuki, and Shin Uchiha, the clones of Shin Uchiha. But Lord Ku was on another level and I'm pretty sure the COD organization seen that and they wanted to get some of the intel and the information that went into Lord Ku and him being him and not only that another synthetic human being had dojutsus in their eyes and I'm pretty sure that we are all aware a member in the COD organization as of right now has a synthetic dojutsu as well her name is Delta and of course the conspiracy gets even deeper when you realize that the scientist's body was never recovered and it's not just that scientist we have to take a look at every other scientist for example Orochimaru. Could Orochimaru possibly be feeding information to the Kata organization? Possibly unknowingly feeding information to the Kata organization. We understand that the Kata organization once put Katasuke, the Hidden Leaf scientist, under a Genjutsu, and that right there gave them all the information that the Hidden Leaf had. Other scientists in other villages as well could also be easily manipulated by the Kata organization, knowingly or unknowingly, to aid the Kata organization with what they want to do. A lot of questions from myself definitely spawned after reading these two paragraphs. One of the biggest ones is going to be where did the Kata organization get majority of their information from? For example, we understand that characters such as Kashin Koji and characters such as Delta, extremely strong god level characters, are synthetic human beings created by scientific technology. What other village in the ninja world has access to this type of technology? But let me know what you guys think. It's me, boy Barnaby, and we out. Bye. Range, we do for the game. Shorty won't class, so she fought for the fame.